that's very thick, looks like bechamel. What is that? You're already using cream. Why do you need Alfredo sauce? I will be spending three weeks in the toilet. Three weeks! Oh my God. Oh my God. Sugar? Why are you putting sugar? What is this sugar for, my friend? You know, making a cake? I hope he doesn't sell this in the restaurant as a carbonara because you have to go to jail if that's what you do. This video is sponsored to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is a platform that does it all. Develop a project you are passionate about by building your very own website. And you will be amazed at the marketing and analytics tools all included in Squarespace website. Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate, the place where you get to learn how to make delicious Italian food and where we react to bad and good Italian recipes. <laughs> Many of you have requested this and I've done it again. We are reacting to the most popular carbonara videos. Thank you Bradley for sending me this video I'm about to react to. Well, thank you, but at the same time, no thank you because I don't want anyone to watch this. <laughs> Wait, 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 okay, so the map is telling me we go from Italy all the way to Las Vegas, so it must be authentic. Buca di Beppo, okay, that's a nice, very authentic Italian name. What did he say? He's making chicken carbonara. Why do you use the map from Italy going to Las Vegas? He got such a beautiful Italian authentic name. Why are you making, why are you making chicken carbonara, my friend? Should we stop here? I think we're stopping here. I don't, I don't know if I can watch any extra. We got a prosciutto. We got some chicken that's pan fried. Did he say the chicken is fried and sliced? Okay, but what are you doing? You're not making carbonara with that. We got our pasta, garlic, some peas. Garlic and peas. He must have watched Gordon Ramsay video. Oh no, it can't be. Maybe, no, because this video is older. So Gordon Ramsay watched this guy's video. Oh, come on. Cream and Alfredo sauce? What is this? I'm so happy only 13,000 people watch it. I'm sorry we have to watch this together, but guys, this is bad. Look at the way he grabbed that. It's not love the way he grabbed the prosciutto. Ooh, put a little bit of love when you touch the prosciutto. Why do you have to put garlic prosciutto? What, what, what is this? Oh, he needs some milk. oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, he did it again. You have to tell me one thing. You guys need to tell me one thing and be honest here. Are you one of the clients who went to this restaurant and ordered this dish? Please tell us because we might need to help you because this is a very bad dish. This is very, very, very bad. Don't tell me this is good. This is not a carbonara, but this is not a dish I wanna serve to anyone. And we make our own Alfredo sauce here in house. So basically Alfredo sauce, the original Alfredo sauce is just Parmesan and butter with pasta water. That's very thick, looks like bechamel. What is that? You're already using cream. Why do you need Alfredo sauce? Guys, let me tell you, that's gonna make me go to the toilet for three weeks, no stop. I will be spending three weeks in the toilet. Three weeks! How can you serve this in a restaurant? I hope the restaurant is closed. Look how dry, look how dry, look how... There's no love in there, look at that. That's the small, right, it serves three people. Who is the crazy person who is going to order the large? You will have about four to six people going in the toilet for six weeks, no stop. Guys, do not do this to yourself, please not. If you go to a restaurant and you pay big dollars for, for a dish, I don't want this. 
I want you to give me the real deal. Don't give me the chicken carbonara. And if you are making chicken carbonara with the chicken, you use eggs as a cream and pecorino, no garlic. So do not call it carbonara. I get so, I get, I get, I get so upset and frustrated. Let's go to the next video. I can't watch this anymore. Guys, a friend called Stillian, he sent me this guy, his videos to react to. And let me tell you, I watched one of his videos and I was very sick after the video. He's got a YouTube channel which is growing fast, Chaplin Classics. This is a classic pasta carbonara. And let me tell you, there is nothing about carbonara in this dish. Let's watch it together. But hey, I'm warning you, you might feel sick after you watch it. I'm gonna make a carbonara, a true carbonara, but look at this, Bob. This is Iberico ham. And it's, it's from Portugal, $70 a pound. So you know what, give me $30 worth. This is like half of it. And, and see the meat is like a, a darker brown. So this guy is telling me he's using Iberico ham to make carbonara. Okay. The world's finest ham is considered uh, more of a, and, uh, better than a Serrano ham for shoot on all that. So we're going to start with a cook. Who said that? Butter, garlic. Okay, you call this classic carbonara? You're talking about the Iberico ham, which is, sounds fantastic, sounds different, and now you're using butter and garlic. What's classic about this, huh? The Iberico ham will release the oil with the flavors. You have a beautiful Iberico ham there. Come on. I like the butter. I like a good amount of garlic. Okay, now, uh, I'm gonna fine dice some onion. Well, this guy is using onion, garlic, butter, don't make carbonara, just do something else, just do a bolognese. All right, so so far, he's not cooking the Iberico ham, he's only cooking the onion and the garlic in butter. And by the way, by now, I believe the garlic will be burned. And where are the eggs? Where are the eggs? Some uh, Iberico in there right now, get some of that back. Okay, Iberico ham, okay. What's by the, the way, you could have find pancetta for a lot cheaper than that. But it's interesting. I want to try the Iberico ham. I find it very interesting. This is something that this guy is teaching me. Thank you, Bob, for filming. Okay, Bob. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my, he completely destroyed a dish. This is worse than Gordon Ramsay carbonara. This is at the same level that Kay is cooking. This is bad, guys. This is pretty bad. You do not put wine in the carbonara, no! Heavy cream? Wait, 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 he put the wine in there, he didn't let the wine evaporate, and now he's adding heavy cream. You know what that means? You're gonna get an acidity level in your stomach so high that you possibly could go to the toilet. <laughs> or maybe you can throw up. Why you don't wait for the bloody wine to evaporate? And then you can add the cream, huh? Good amount of Parmesan. Yeah, okay. You just put a sprinkle of Parmesan cheese, by the way, called the Parmigian. You don't need to use a sprinkle. You need to use a lot, a lot of Parmigiano. What is next? Just throw it against the wall like Grandma used to do. Why do you throw pasta on the wall? What for? Okay. I have to say, the wood fire ramen looks fantastic. Of Scallion? Where are the scallions coming from? Where are the scallions coming from? He just decided, he said, oh, I've got nothing to do while I'm waiting for this to cook. Let me add more in there. Let me add more. What's next? Peas? What's next? Huh? Sugar, spice, and everything nice. Oh. The linguine is the only good thing. And what he's doing is cooking the linguine. The linguine is straight from the water into the pan. That's the right thing. That's the only right thing he did in this video. I hope he doesn't sell this in the restaurant as a carbonara because you have to go to jail if that's what you do. You are lying to people. You're selling something that is not. The poor clients, they don't know what the classic carbonara is. You give them this to them, they won't like it and they say, Ugh, I don't like carbonara. And they will never eat carbonara ever again. Stop spreading bad information. This is some carbonara. No, it's not a carbonara. No, it's not. I made it with Iberico ham. It's the finest ham in the world. It doesn't matter if it's the finest thing in the world. It, is, it didn't cook it right. 
maybe can be if you cut it into um, strips like a pancetta or guanciale, but you didn't do that. You slice this as a prosciutto. Please don't do that to yourself. No, don't do it. Might be hot. I don't know if we need salt and pepper. We can add that. Oh. Okay, are you ready for this, guys? This is a video of a carbonara, creamy carbonara pasta, Christmas recipe. Hmm. Oh, here we go, another one who watched Gordon Ramsay video. You don't put cold cooking oil in the pasta water. It's best to put the salt in when the water is boiling. Drain the pasta and set aside. What are you talking about? The pasta will get stuck. The pasta needs to go right in, this, in the sauce. Why are you using butter for carbonara? Why? Why are you putting onions and butter? This is not a carbonara anymore. Where is the pancetta if you don't have guanciale? What are you doing? The mushrooms. What are the mushrooms for? Oh my God, it's using sweet ham. Look, on this ham, there is no fat. You can't get the crispy meat. You can't get the fat reducing, you know, turning into oil. What are you doing? The only thing I like about this video is the music. <gasps> Oh, purpose cream. You already have the butter, you have the ham, the mushrooms, and then you put all purpose cream. I can't watch this anymore, guys. Honestly, I don't know what else to say, but why are people watching these type of videos? Who made this? Who of which one of you made this? You tell me. Guys, it's a no, 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 no. What do you need evaporated milk for? What do you need evaporated milk for? You need to tell me now. I want you to watch this video, friend cheap menu. Why are you using this? I really need to know. You need to tell me. Please write a comment below if you know why they're using this. What cheese is that? That cheese to me doesn't look like mozzarella. It looks, looks like a cheap shredded mozzarella. That cheese is yellow. Cheese now it's gonna melt all over. It's gonna melt. Sugar? <laughs> Why are you putting sugar? What is the sugar for, my friend? You know, making a cake? You need to tell me now. Why is the sugar in this mix? I really wanna cry. I just feel sorry for that pasta. Pasta does not deserve this. Nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves that. Look how dry this pasta is. You killed the pasta and now you're trying to bring the pasta back to life. It looks beautiful if it was not a carbonara. But if you tell me that you put sugar, you put condensed milk and you put all this stuff, then no, I don't want to have this dish. Look at that, they even give you the ingredients. This is something you guys should not make for you or for your family. All, right, all I can say now is I need to watch a good video. I need to watch something that makes me feel good because this is not making me feel good. Guys, I love sharing my passion for Italian food with you. So have you been thinking about creating your own website so you can share your passion too? Squarespace has blogging tools which allow visitors to your page to share content across different platforms. Keep in mind, you can also buy a, your domain name from Squarespace and there are no hidden fees. If that doesn't make you want to sign up right away, then this will. Exclusive content can be shared with individual users in a members-only area. There is nothing more important when you're running a website than building a community and Squarespace will help you to do that. So what are you waiting for? Make that little dream a reality and get your own website Website up and running today. The next video we are reacting to is a nonna, a very famous Italian American nonna. The channel is called Buon Appetiti and she's very popular and I love to watch her. It's just relaxing. You just put the screen on, you just watch it and she just entertains you. Hello, I'm Gina. Today I gotta make something delicious. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it the way she speaks, it's beautiful. I'm Gina, oh, I make spaghetti alla carbonara. carbonara. <laughs> and then that's the spaghetti, I have everything prepared, I know everything is prepared. I have three, three whole eggs, two yolk, and pecorino romano. Brava, pecorino romano. Pancetta, I look for one child, uh, I like bear, but I know fine, I, I use the pancetta. Yeah, very hard to find guanciale, I know guys, it's very hard to find guanciale, 
you have to use pancetta. Even though this pancetta doesn't look amazing, it's not their fault. I'm doing a video and I'm gonna show you how to make pancetta and guanciale at home. I'm working on it, guys. I'm gonna do it for you. Nice. Gotta put the black pepper. Brava, brava, signora. What you want? Lara black pepper. Brava, brava, signora. Lara black. It's the pecorino romano go here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's the cream. That's the cream for your carbonara, my friend. That's how you do it. More pepper, wow. I gotta fry. But this is so cold. This is nice so cold. You start the cold the pan and you put over there. Brava. Put you start the pepper. cold so you cook it gently, gently. You this, you, you put a, like a meat. You put Bravissima. A meat. Bravissima signora, brava. A little, little bit, it's a lot they, they start. Take your time, take your time. Start the meat in the beginning, okay? O stella del mare, o bella. I love when she sings in her videos, I love it. Most done, look how nice. Look how beautiful it looks. The pancetta nice looks fantastic. Fry, not a little bit, maybe not a minute. Beautiful. For first of all, a little salt I gotta pour. Beautiful. Salty here. Generous amount of salt and in the pasta water. And we put the spaghetti like this, okay? Always help the spaghetti to go, to emerge in the water, so they can go for a swim. Now, we put a, we wait for the spaghetti. I like how she says spaghetti. Spaghetti. <laughs> oh, it's so fun. Everything she says is with Italian accent, but when she says spaghetti, she, she, she puts the American accent on. Spaghetti. It's a little thing, but you need the time. Little thing, but you need the time. You need time to make good things. Always need time to make good things. It's not as so cute. Okay. This is it. Mi spanona so much. Let me turn first, and then I gotta put a little water. Love it, love it, love it. Beautiful cream. A beautiful egg cream. Look at that. Beautiful. 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 Fantastic. Fantastic. Well done. Okay, they are ready, alright? Beautiful. We gotta put it in the dish. So cute is Nonna. She's just so cute. This is the perfect way to end this video. Ah, oh, on a good note. Oh, I'm getting so angry right now just to watch this. Thank God. Oh, you look at that. Thank you, Nonna Gina. Bellissima carbonara. I am so angry right now, but thank God I have an arancino here to eat. Have you ever had arancini? Italian rice balls. Go on my channel and you can learn how to make it. Arancini. Mmm. 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 Look at that. Got rice. Look at that beautiful melting cheese that you come in, come in there. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, oh yeah. I'm hungry right now. Sorry, we go from carbonara to arancini, but I'm hungry. Mm. Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have learned something. I hope when you go to restaurants that serve you these dishes, you will say to the waiter, Hey, bring this back to the chef. I want the real deal. Otherwise, just make it in your own kitchen. Yeah, it's much better. So, I hope you enjoyed. We will see you in the next Vincenzo's Play reaction video, or maybe video recipe. Mm, I've got my arancino. Go and watch my video on how to make arancini. It's so yummy. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Play. Mmm. 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 Ciao. Hey guys, don't forget, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Vincenzo's Plate to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All the best and have fun.